Oh my god. So, after 21 days of water fasting, where I have not had anything but water, coffee and occasional tea, particularly <laughs> particularly hibiscus tea, which is meant to be quite immune boosting and stuff, I have finally reached the end of my fast. I can't explain to you how ready I am and how proud I am of myself because this fast was only meant to be for three days but there's so many things that have happened in between and um, if you watch this video over there it gives you a bit more detail into my 21 day process, why I did it, how I felt throughout. Obviously right now I'm a bit breathless because <laughs> it is time for me to break this fast and um, if you look at my channel you can see some of my other videos as to what I looked like at the beginning of the fast, what I look like now. I'll put some pictures in here but the full breadth and length <laughs> of the pictures will be in the video over there. So I probably will say that the reason why I'm quite out of breath today is because I haven't taken my electrolytes and my apartment has two floors and I've been tidying up all day so I've been going up and down, up and down, up and down which is quite a level of exertion that I shouldn't be doing on day 21 but anyway I'm so excited to eat and I wanted to bring you guys with me what I'm eating is not very exciting but oh my god it smells divine and it's meant to be really good for you because honestly before I started this fast I had no idea I mean I knew what bone broth was but I just thought it was the, the stock that you have when you're boiling meat or chicken but it very much depends on how you cook it because it's meant to have a lot of immunity so if you are fasting and you do an extended fast you shouldn't dive straight into eating again because your body might go into shock uh, honestly I've tried to do this entire process as healthily as I could so there was no way that I was going to just dive straight into eating so I made bone broth a couple of days ago and it is amazing it's so good um, I'll insert a clip in this video showing you what it looks like and everything but this is smelling so good that I can't wait to drink it and I don't know if it smells this good because <laughs> I guess I'm hungry <laughs> because when I cooked it I didn't taste it um, and it doesn't have any of that stuff that you know Nigerians we love like Maggie and everything like that no it's as healthy as possible but honestly it still smells so good if you guys are interested let me know and ask for the recipe and I will pop it in this bottom of this video the description box but I need to eat oh it looks so good it's been microwaved oh my god I'm just I need a moment it's smooth and silky in my mouth and from my apartment I can see people in the park sunbathing even though they shouldn't be because it's corona time but I can guarantee that that first mouthful was a better experience than they're having in the sun and they don't even know it. Whew. Okay. I've just seen a shot of myself <laughs> having soup on the internet. Looks a bit weird. Mm. Oh my god. Oof. I'm squinting. <laughs> because my face does that thing when I'm thinking. Also, I feel like this spoon is completely inadequate for this. I almost want to just guzzle the whole thing down, but let's not be a savage. It's just so different from like the water and lemon and everything I've been having. And it feels super clean, which is a very odd thing to say about a meat 
soup essentially this is kind of what I've been spending the majority of my fast drinking just in the mornings because I don't want to have too much lemon because then it gets too acidic um, yeah you don't want to have too much water and lemon but this is what I've been having majority of the time and then in the afternoon I'll have some electrolytes sometimes at night time I will have just water with a splash of apple cider vinegar but this is just mm. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> so good like I'm aware that it's not super seasoned but it tastes good like it feels like I'm not overwhelmed with MSG or anything like that. And I know that you can buy your own bone broth from the shops, but it's quite expensive. And you can just make your own bone broth, which is what I wanted to do, so that I could be sure that everything in it was clean and pure and everything. But I know this is an odd video, particularly from me, since I mostly talk about careers, leveling up, travel, you can still contact me if you need all of that stuff. But now you're also going to get the alpha version of me if you work with me because like my brain just feels like it went through a whole process of decluttering along with my body. And I just feel like I'm ready to kind of like just get back to life because the past seven days I couldn't do anything. I just wanted to, my body, my body was just craving to just relax and not do anything. And every time I had a client call, by the end of it, I was like, oh my God. <laughs> so I know many people who do these water fasts on YouTube are like, yes, I had the best energy, absolute mental clarity the whole time. That didn't happen for me. I had energy, a lot of energy in fact, but it was in waves, like up and down in waves. And whenever I had to do anything that's like mentally tasking, for example, speaking to my clients about their careers, or also my other clients because I'm still a legal consultant so I do work with like law firms on the side and you have to like do meetings and strategy meetings, especially in light of everything that's happening. By the time I finished the calls, because they were all remote, uh, and I just pressed end on the Zoom <laughs> or Microsoft Teams meeting, it, my brain would just be like, mush. <laughs> and then I would sleep the whole day, um, well, the rest of the day. So. I'm really looking forward to getting back to normal levels of energy. I definitely did experience the mental clarity thing, but like I said, not as much as everybody else, I guess, because every person is different. The energy thing, again, was not complete like peaks and waves for me because on day 14, I woke up with so much energy. And to be honest, I feel like my easiest days were from day five to day 14 because I my electrolytes were kicking in I was doing everything as correctly as I could find on the internet and as part of my research so I woke up and I was like oh, I feel so good today let's exercise <laughs> that was probably one of the most stupid things I have ever done in my life I managed to make it to one round it was a three round exercise Turn and Sculpt, I love that girl's app. I love her because she's also a legal graduate. She's amazing, check out her app. One round was done. So I thought, okay, we, I guess we still need to do a bit of exercise, so let's go for a walk. So I walked for half an hour. By the time I got to the end, I quickly realized that I don't know how I'm gonna get home. <laughs> so uh, then I had to take an Uber and then I was petrified because I had been limiting my time outdoors, so I go out like once every 48 to 72 hours for a walk, and now here I am getting an Uber. So I got home, and I, as usual, slept the whole way. 
anyway, there'll be more videos coming up for you guys. If you have any specific questions about water fasting, pop it below. I can talk about how it personally has affected my productivity, particularly in the, those moments where I felt super energized and focused. In the process, I started working on a podcast that's going to launch pretty soon, which is crazy because like half of my day would be super productive and then the other half would be a complete write-off. So I can give some tips about how to manage and maximize that process if you want. Thank you for watching this video. Remember, I'm not your doctor or your lawyer, so make sure you get professional advice if you want to do something like this. Do your research, guys. Just don't believe everything that you read on the internet. Make sure you choose your sources wisely so that you stay healthy and safe. Please like, watch, comment <laughs> and subscribe to this channel. I've got a lot more good stuff coming up for you guys but thank you so much if you've enjoyed this video. Make sure you let me know and if you have any questions pop them below. Thanks for watching. Bye!